The number of coffins these cemetery workers in Madrid are lowering into the ground is mounting rapidly, and the strict lockdown rules make mourning a lonely affair for those saying a final goodbye. But this stark scene will be repeated up and down the country thousands more times. Exhausted medics are doing their best to save lives, but like their patients, doctors and nurses are getting sick themselves. We're incredibly concerned about the rates of health worker infections at the moment. Uh, in the last few days we've heard reports from Italy of infection rates around about 9%. Uh, that's too high. Uh, but even more recently from Spain, infection rates at 12 or 13%. But in Spain, there is a glimmer of hope. Although the rate of new infections rose slightly on Tuesday to 11%, it's much lower than this time last week when it was 20%. It's clear that over the 24th, 25th and 26th of March, there were important changes to the rate of infection. That could indicate that little by little, the lockdown measures are having the desired effect. In France, the president has issued a call to arms to ramp up domestic production of medical supplies. Emmanuel Macron says a consortium of electric and automotive companies will produce 10,000 ventilators by mid-May, while other factories will be focusing on face masks. Before the crisis, we were producing 3.3 million masks per week. By the end of April, we will more than triple that to over 10 million. In Russia, which is under partial lockdown, the parliament passed legislation on Tuesday allowing prison time for anyone who flouts the quarantine rules. If such a violation leads to the death of a person, then imprisonment of up to five years will apply. If it results in the deaths of two or more people, then it could be up to seven years. Russia's new laws came just a day after the Hungarian parliament granted right-wing Prime Minister Viktor Orban an open-ended right to rule by decree. The EU is concerned the move undermines democracy. It is of utmost importance that emergency measures are not at the expense of our fundamental principles and values as set out in the treaties. Democracy cannot work without free and independent media. Respect of freedom of expression and legal certainty are essential in these uncertain times. In Italy, there's been a moment of reflection as the country paused for a minute's silence to honour its dead. The flags flying at half-mast, a visual reminder that this country still carries the burden of the highest coronavirus death toll globally. Sarah Morris, TRT World.